Guys, I'm sad. I'm very sad. What you're watching right now, episode number four, I think, of the Dubscraft Let's Play. It's it's actually not live. I'm not recording this live. The audio that you're hearing from my mouth right now, it is over the gameplay, but I'm not actually playing the game at the moment. I am watching the gameplay back. I recorded everything. Audio was recorded. I usually record my voice on a different software than obviously what I'm recording the game. Um, voice software, Audacity, which is what I used to record, straight up just crashed. As I was exporting my my audio for my voice, it straight up just crashed. So it just the file just went away. It's not in my temporary files. It's nowhere. It just is straight up gone. However, this was an incredibly good video. And I really didn't want it to let it go to waste. I didn't want to skip over it and just not show it to you guys. So I guess episode number four, this is pretty much what's happening. I'm going to explain it kind of quickly to you. It's obviously not going to be as long as what you're going to be watching. But um, yeah, basically in this video, what I said is I'm going to go full speedrunner mode on this. Uh, like try to do no armor or anything like that. So at the very beginning, I literally just went out. I'm getting a bit of food. Actually, I'm getting a lot of food. Just so I have food, and uh, the bread obviously, obviously, you know, in the previous episode where I ended up falling in love and stuff like that, everything just burned, everything was gone. Um, I think Diamond Pick was gone, a bunch of other stuff just straight up just gone. And uh, in this one, I decided to say to myself, you know what, I'm gonna go in pretty much just like a speedrunner, minimal resources, minimal armor, and all that sort of stuff. The other thing I'm gonna get is food, uh, which of course I did have bread before, but. Bread isn't as good as actual meat and protein in this game. Meat or pro pretty much technically protein in this game. So meat, fish, all that sort of stuff. Um, is really good in this game at giving you like more saturation. Or like your 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 saturation doesn't go down as much. So basically you don't get hungry as fast. Um, so eating any sort of like, you know, p uh, pork or, or, or beef or anything like that. Or even fish is just really, really good. So that's why I'm collecting all this sort of stuff. Now, after I did all that, I ended up getting a smoker, and the smoker was really useful. Finished collecting all that sort of stuff, and I I, uh, I just left it there in the smoker. I cooked a bit of beef just so I could have my, my full health back, and uh, then I decided to go and get some gold, just because I didn't want those people to attack me. Those people. I called <laughs> the, uh, the, um, the, uh, what are they called? The, the pigmen? Whatever you want to call them. The ones with the swords, the crossbows, all that sort of stuff. If you have gold on you, they won't actually attack you at all. So pretty much right now, I went down into this cave, just pretty much close to where I spawn, uh, or sorry, close to our bed, and um, yeah, got a bit of gold. Came back and I basically cooked all the gold, and uh, and then it's another time. And then we just went straight into the nether, and this is where things get really, really cool, right? And I really do wish that the original game, like the original audio, was there, just so I don't have to commentate over this, because I know what happens here, you know. It's so much better when you see it. Like the first time around, so I basically went into the Nether here, and I thought to myself, like, obviously, first of all, I need to get a bunch of these blocks, you know, to be able to build in the Nether. So I got a good few of them, and uh, then I thought to myself, you know, instead of going straight for the actual uh, fortress that way, the the way I did before, pretty much, I was like, what if I just turn around and try to go the other way? You know, maybe get some Ender pearls, go into the Blue Forest, get some Ender pearls, and do all that sort of stuff. So. This is where I turned around and I, I just went back and I was like, you know what? Let's let's try it. Let's just let's just see. You know, maybe maybe this will this will be a little bit better of a of a way to go in, and um, yeah. So basically, this is what happened. Making my way up, right? No big deal. Just just climbing here. Just just doing this, right? Getting getting a few more. I was like, you know what? Let's let's try to use our uh, our gold here on this dude. You know, maybe have him uh, give us maybe I don't know some fire resist potions uh, so we can. We can go there. I mean, I only have a few uh, bars of gold to use, um, but basically, this is pretty much what I need all the gold for. It's just to get, um, you know, to, to trade with. So I was like, I'll trade with him. See what we get. We got a little bit of a, a soul speak book. Don't really need it at the moment, so it's pretty much it. Nothing really useful from him. But then I was like, let's just continue. We'll go this way. We'll go towards the 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 blue forest. The blue forest obviously spawns a bunch of endermen. So. Could possibly get some enterprises there as well, and um, yeah, this is where I was contemplating which way I should go. Maybe, maybe the the other way is is still better to go. Um, but again, like I said, I was just looking around, just trying to find 
uh, different ways to approach this uh, <laughs> this fortress and then and then and then just watch this right watch this clip right here it's it's pretty mad it's pretty mad with the way everything works here so climb up here yeah chilling chilling running so making my way through this really sketchy part of the nether going this way and then oh what's that that is a bastion, boys. That is a bastion. This is literally a fashion seed. And I even got the hot tourist destination was as well. This is a fashion. For people that don't know what a fashion is, basically that's where you spawn in the nether, right? If you're a speedrunner, it's where you spawn in the nether and it spawns a bastion and a fortress pretty much next to each other. Or like in, the li in lines of sight with each other, which is kind of sick. And I was like so excited at this point in this video. I was like, I cannot believe. And I was just trying to see and or figure out which type of uh, of bastion it actually was. And it's it turns out to be a really good one. Um, not for speedrunning. It's for speedrunning. It's, it's actually not that bad. But um, just for for doing it normally, it is a bridge bastion. And look at all of the gold just sitting there waiting for me to collect it. And I was thinking to myself here. I was like, which way is the best way to approach this at? So what I ended up doing is like, I went over the top of it and I just dug down. I got the gold, and then I pretty much just got out of there. I was like, this is it. This is this is what I have to do. Like, I didn't even want to stay in there to trade with all the pigmen, because obviously you have all the brutes that have all the axes and stuff like that. So I was just in and out. Just get the gold and get out. So after I've done all of that, uh, I have, what is it, 16 gold uh, blocks in my inventory, which is pretty insane. Um, after that, I decided to make my way back pretty much the same way I came through. Um and uh, try to get myself obviously closer to to the fortress but this time i decided to go the other way around to the fortress and it turns out turns out that there's literally two entrances sorry not two entrances but there's two actual fortresses two different ones next to each other not connected at all and it's not like the the bridge is like broken and then it like starts to recontinue again they're just straight up not connected they're fully two different fortresses uh, away from each other, which is pretty insane. But of course, since I have all of this gold, what is the point of having it and then going to the fortress without, you know, all the, all of the, uh, all the gold on me instead of just using the gold? So practically decided to just grab a few. I actually went to the to the portal as well, to the the broken portal. I got a few more blocks of gold. Uh, there was like three more there, and I ended up getting those as well. But uh, yeah. Then I was just sort of looking for, for these pigments to trade with and uh, try to see if I could find any of these guys. And I did end up finding two of them. And I killed the uh, I killed the little baby one that was next to them because he was just going to pick up the gold and just do nothing with it. And then for about 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes, I stood here. I gave them all the gold that I had and I traded with them. And then my inventory was stacked. Like proper, proper stacked. It looked unreal i had so many ender pearls i think i had over a stack of ender pearls i had so many fire resist potions i had uh soul speed boots i had everything i had a stupid amount of arrows so when i look back into the game again and you guys will see the next episode you, sh you should see everything in my inventory it's uh, it's pretty insane with how my inventory actually ended up looking and uh basically after i finished all of that i was like Let's get to the actual fortress, but we'll go to the the right side of the fortress, the uh, the one that I haven't visited yet. And this one was just so easy to transfer. Like it just going in it was the simplest way possible. Went to one of the towers, climbed the entire way up, and then straight ahead of me was a spawner. Literally just a straight up uh, spawner. And the rod rates that I got were unbelievable like they this is like a dream for speedrunners by the way this is this isn't even like a joke this is like a dream for speedrunners obviously i ended up using one of the potions so i don't get killed by by all these um uh, blazed people but uh, the the rod rates are absolutely crazy i got like six rods super super early um which like i said if you're a speedrunner and you know how lucky you have to be to get that it's it's insane like, it's genuinely insane how fast that is. The only problem is, obviously, is getting all the pearls and all that sort of stuff. Because I only had two of these uh, pigment trading. If it was to be like a speedrun, it, it's not very quick, if that makes sense. Because I did spend about 10 minutes trading because I only traded with, like, two of them. So, ideally, I would have traded in the actual bastion. 
and uh, you know gotten all of my ender pearls and everything there but uh, basically you know i'm not actually trying to speed on this but it is unbelievable the rod race that i had here and pretty much did all that i just cleared out all of these guys i got i think like eight rods or something like that which was pretty insane way more than i actually need i think that just gets me 16 like uh powder so i don't really need that at all and once I finished with that, I pretty much decided to make my way back. There's nothing else in that fortress. I, I ended up checking a chest. There was a gold horse armor, and that's, that's about it. Nothing else there. And then I slowly made my way back, um, pretty much all the way around, the way I came. Got some uh, got some more quartz on the way, just to get a few more XP. And uh, got also, actually, I ended up making a little bit of a detour. Um, there's a one of these like bone structure things so i ended up going to the bone structure place and getting a lot of bone things blocks because i actually need bone meal so what i was saying in this video as i was doing this um is that uh ideally what i want to do is i want to be able to get as much xp as possible um even all the leather that i got from all of these guys i'm going to use it to create books and then enchant a load of books so what I was doing here is getting a load of bone meal because I wanted to use this to grow crops very, very quickly. So once I get up to the overworld and in the next video, uh, I'm going to go ahead and grow as many crops as I possibly can just so I can go and breed a stupid amount of cows. Cows are going to be super, super useful for, for getting just those last few extra bits of XP um, just to be able to, you know, enchant like level 30 enchants. Um, so we'll see how that works for me, uh, but yeah, just trying to get as much XP as I possibly can um, and, you know, obviously trying to stay in the overworld while was also doing it. So getting all this bone meal here was literally just so I can grow crops, so I can breed cows and get extra bits of XP uh, whilst I'm in the overworld. So pretty straightforward, pretty easy um, going through this nether right now. I, I don't know how I managed to die twice. I feel like it's, it's just so easy. All I have to do is just concentrate a little bit more. And, uh, I guess, you know, be a little bit more reckless. I, I feel like when I was being less reckless, I died so easily, twice. And, uh, yeah, now I'm just being more reckless. I was like, you know, just go straight in. All I had is, like, food. I don't really have much on me. And I just went straight in and got out with, like, a ridiculous amount of items and things. So, now in the overworld, uh, we have a new, uh, a new dude just chilling here. Little baby zombie pigman. And, uh, yeah, in the next episode, I'm going to have to build some sort of a, a hut or a house or something. I need to because uh, I need to be able to put, you know, the actual bookshelves and all that sort of stuff. And I want to go between, you know, my chests and and, uh, and the, the, what you call it, the uh, <laughs> the chest, the enchantment table, the, the furnaces and all of that sort of stuff. I want to go between all those things without having to go outside, especially if I need to go out, you know, at night time. I'm probably going to get killed or there's gonna be creepers or whatever coming in i don't really want them to be blowing stuff up so um yeah i'm gonna go ahead and finish the video off here it's really unfortunate that i had to commentate over this because the audio just went but yeah i really do hope you guys enjoyed today's video next one hopefully i'm gonna try my best i mean there's nothing really i could do the 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 software just crashed you know so this is not really my fault it literally just straight up crashed which it's it's just don't know if it ever does it it's like super super rare if it does probably hasn't done it in years but anyway thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye